What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Kristen and today we are going to be going through what I take in my Disney park bag. Now for those that don't know, my husband, my youngest, and my nephew are going to Disney World for a week in October and I am so excited. I can't even tell you if you are a Disney mom like me, then you know how exciting it is. And even though we have 83 days left, I have a counter on my phone, <laughs> um, I still want to make sure that I am um, prepared and that I have everything with me, especially in my park bag, because I know that I'm going to need things. The last time that we went, um, I found that my crossbody that I took was just not big enough. This time I got a nice hefty backpack with a bunch of pockets. I know this is going to be murder in um, the bag line, but I'm hoping that I don't have a whole lot in here. Actually, the only things that I'm missing in here are camera equipment for this camera that I'm recording on right now. So um, hopefully I won't have a bunch of stuff extra that I need to stick in here and it'll just be that stuff and they can glance and go. I got this bag at Target. Um, I think it was $30. It's by Joy Lab. $34.99. It's by Joy Lab. And um, it's kind of that that material, you know what I'm talking about? And I feel like it'll be great on water rides, especially I won't have to worry about my camera getting wet. Um, I am taking my GoPro, which I need to locate before we go. I wonder where I put that. All my camera equipment will, will be in here and I really want to make sure that it doesn't get wet or damaged on any kind of water ride. So the most important thing that I am bringing with me is my vlogging camera. This is the Sony A5100 and I love it. It's got the flip out screen so that you can see yourself when you're talking to yourself and I like that. Also we'll be taking my tripod. I have three tripods. The one that I'm using right now is a big one and I probably won't take it with me but I am going to take this one. It's a knockoff of the Manfrotto. I might actually pick up a Manfrotto because this one's janky. I don't like it. I got it for $15 at Best Buy and it's crap but it's what I needed at the time and it worked. Um, I also have one that's got the bendy legs on it so that you can wrap wrap it around things. Um, I'll probably take that. Um, like I said, I'm also going to take my GoPro so it'll have its own holder too, um, wherever that is. Gosh, I really need to find that. And now on to the things that I know are going to get some use at some point other than camera equipment. Four ponchos. My husband got these at Walmart. They were probably a dollar a piece. Um, I'm not down to pay the 20 or $30 that they are in the parks. So um, the last time that we went, these came in so handy because it rained while we were at Epcot and I was super annoyed <laughs> because I was wet and I don't like to be wet. So these are definitely a must have and they will get used in October at Disney World. I got some band-aids. These are just the Toy Story band-aids. I also grabbed a Tide to Go stick. Um, I, oh man, I tell you what, I did not have one of these on my last trip and I regretted it. I was so mad. I wore my Nick Carter um, baseball tee to the park and I got a Mickey bar. And that Mickey bar dropped chocolate on my shirt and I didn't know about it until we got back to the hotel which means it was already dried on there it was dark when I was eating the Mickey bar you can still see the stain today I'm so annoyed um, I I haven't worn it since it makes me so mad I loved that shirt um, I'm also taking some hair ties mainly because I have this one in it's like one of those um, clear ones it's spirally but you can never have too many hair ties i am putting all of this stuff in this little bag right here um i actually don't know where i got this i think it came with some kind of kit maybe that i got maybe maybe a travel kit or something i don't know i don't know where this came from i found it in my closet i thought hey that's see-through that'd be great i can stick some stuff in there from a disney park bag 
and it'll work out. Everybody knows that Disney World went strawless at what, the beginning of last year, maybe the end of last year, beginning of this year, I can't remember. But they went strawless. So if you want a straw, you have to ask for it. But if you don't wanna be one of those people, you can just bring your own. I picked up an entire case, of an entire bag of these. Um, I've got one for, I've got one for everybody. Um, and I've got some more in a drawer in there that I've been using. Um, but they're just silicone straws, um, by, they're by Flathead. They came with one of these little cleaners that I will definitely be taking with me um, to clean out the straws in the room. I'm glad that I got these, honestly, because I know that the little boys are 12 and they're not gonna be super messy with their food and their drinks, but any mom knows that it makes you nervous when your kid is walking through a crowded anywhere and they don't have a lid on their drink. You need that lid. You need to know that there's a barrier between liquid and your child. I also will be packing this sunscreen. This sunscreen. It is just the Baby Ganix Kids SPF 50 plus sunscreen lotion. Um, Owen is allergic to both banana boat and copper tone. I picked this up at Walmart and I'm really hoping that he's not allergic to it. I need to test it on him before we go just to make sure um, that he's not the banana boat and copper tone both. Both were kids, both were allergy free, both were, you know, all of those things. Um, they gave him like little red bumps and I'm not, I don't, I don't want that to be something that's happening. I'm going to try it before we go. Something that every mom knows you cannot go on vacation without. Now, like I said, the little boys are 12 this year. I can't even handle that, but they are still kids and they make messes and they get food on themselves and they get food on their hands and they get sticky and things around them are sticky and tables are gross and especially in a crowded place like that I want to be able to if there's a free table sit down and eat my food and not have to worry about oh my god that's disgusting don't put your elbow in that you know what I mean I am a girl all right and girls we need things and this girl needs makeup touch-up stuff. <laughs> I got this bag at Ulta. We're gonna be taking a lot of pictures. It's also gonna be hot. I wanna look good in the pictures. I don't wanna look like a sweaty, disgusting mess. I saw Leanne says talk about this stuff. It is One Heck of a Blot by Soap and Glory and it is blotting powder. And I really like this stuff so far. I, I use it at work um, because I'm running around quite a bit. But it comes with a mirror and um, powder and just this little thing and you just just dab you just dab a little bit dab and close it up and you're good to go I haven't had any trouble with it at all um, it's great it does what it needs to do so thank you Leanne this also goes in my purse this stays in my purse <laughs> all the time so this is why I have this many lip products in here but um, I probably won't take this many actually to the park. I will probably put some gum or something in here and not take all this stuff. But I've got some Carmex in case my lips get chapped. I have um, Palladio and Casey Holmes lip gloss, which I love in Georgia. I've got some Burt's Bees. I've got Dose of Colors in just my type Clinique chubby stick in a whole lot of honey a then I have a matte dose of colors in bear with me obviously right now I do not have this stuff with I am going to be bringing um, just some snacks maybe some granola bars um, a bottled water to um, just so if we're waiting in line and one of the boys says, oh my God, I'm so hungry. Can we get out of this line and go get a snack? I need a waffle, I need a Mickey bar, I need a pretzel. But 
they'll be able to just reach into my bag and get um, some kind of a snack to tide them over until we can get to an actual place for that Mickey bar or that Mickey pretzel, which I'm so excited about. Why does everything Mickey shaped taste so much better? So I think that about wraps up what I will be taking in my Disney park bag this time. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and click subscribe. I try to put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Honestly, I'm sorry about that. Definitely come back if you're looking for more Disney content in about October because I will definitely have it then. See you later, guys. Bye.